2-1 defeat here to Bedford Town. What are your thoughts on that game? Um, mixed, really. Uh, obviously gutted, gutted with the with the result. Um, I thought we'd done done well, to be honest with you. You know, playing against the league above, I thought we'd done well. Um, we'd done everything that we set out to do at, at the start. Uh, the positioning was good, the shape was good, the way we played and we moved the ball. You know, to continue to be brave on the ball and pass it and try and play out from the back and try and to dominate possession, to actually build attacks and to create problems and I felt we'd done that. I think I felt the first 45 minutes we did and I thought we were unlucky at times, just just that little last little bit and through balls and stuff. But, you know, we, we put them under pressure and I think in the first 45 minutes they knew that they were, they'd been stretched and they'd been in a decent game. Um, you know, threat for them, it's just the physical side of it for me. Uh, they were taller than us, they were bigger than us, they looked stronger than us, um, as just a looker. Not in the play, but just the way they looked at it. And I think, I said to my half time, the biggest problem I think we're going to have is trying to defend set plays. And that was the that was the case of it. You know, to be done on a on a set play uh, for their winner was was frustrating and disappointing. Uh, but, you know, you've got to give them credit. They put good ball in the box and they attack it well. So, from their point of view, it's a, it's something that they obviously work on. It's a good goal. Uh, from my point of view, it's disappointing to get done on that. Uh, but their attitude and the commitment of the lads and the way the the way they handled themselves was superb. Um, just just one or two little bits of tiredness in there, but you know the squad is is small at the moment with injuries and and suspensions at the moment. So that's that's a difficult one that we've just got to work through. Obviously, every team will go through it from different stages, but we've just got to stick together. And we've got to get back on the training ground, rest well, get back on the training ground on Thursday, and look forward to Hadley away on Saturday. And you got the goal early on in the second half, uh, but they got the equaliser straight after, and you were able to put to hold on after that. Yeah, you know it was unfortunate. We we got a good goal and we worked it well. Um, great little finish by Gaz, so that was great for him. And got really pleased for the lad. Um, but yeah, we just it's games like that. Then you just want to um, keep hold of that lead just for ten minutes, just to settle it down and get your rhythm back again. Because you know they're going to have a go. They're at home and they've been hurt and they've been dented in the pride. And they're going to have a little go at you and just. We just didn't hold on to it long enough, and that's always the problem. You know, you can see it straight away. Their tails are up, and they want to come and have another little go at you. Um, but I felt for Matty. Matty, at the time, should have stepped in and and dealt with it, and he stepped off, and it gave the lad a little bit of an opportunity to get a strike away. But you know, Matty's thrown his taking a whack first half. His ankle, he's struggling with his ankle, and um, in a better position, we might have rested them at half time, taking them off, and let him and let that heal. But you know, say we're down on low on numbers and. And we're down, and we're, you know, so it, it's a difficult one, really. But you know, I can't knock at all the their efforts and the commitments and the attitude the boys had, um, and they kept on playing right to the end. They were brave in possession, kept trying to get on it. I think they just had a little bit more strength about them, and a little bit more fitness about them in the last 10, 15 minutes. I think we just faded a little bit. Um, but our positioning's key, and we've got to learn quickly how important positioning on the pitches. You know, so that we were getting good positions to get on the ball, but if we lose possession of the ball, we're in good positions then across the pitch where we can stop their attacks from generating any anything that can hurt us. Um, we were a little bit loose second half. You know, there was a couple of players who got out of position and too many times, and uh, that that was the element for me that was a little bit disappointing second half. You know, there's times when it's like that we need to tighten up and we need to make sure that we're secure behind the ball even when we're going forward and we let it get a little bit loose on the pitch. Um, so, you know, we've, we've got to learn again that that's what it's about. But we've got to learn quickly because we've got to go into Hadley and now it's going to be a tough game away from home. We've got to, we've got to pick three points up, it's as simple as that. The challenge is there and we've got to win.